A big welcome to our channel, we are Team Crushing the Meta and today we're here for you guys with a video and it will be on how to prepare to a big tournament or to any other tournaments that you want to play. So I've been getting these questions a lot lately and people have been asking me like what can we do to have more confidence in ourselves and our deck to be able to go to big tournaments and win the tournament and have confidence to do so. Well, for me, I do some steps for uh, preparation for the big tournaments and I would like to share it with you with you guys. Uh, most important thing about Cards with Vanguard is when you go to a big tournament, it's more like an experience. So you try to go there to have fun, to enjoy yourself and to play your best and after doing all those steps then you could of course win the tournament. It's not all about putting your poker face up and getting and paying more money to get your strongest deck or get the strongest deck in the meta and go there and win. It's, it's not about that. It's about taking your, your deck. So let's say you have a deck and you enjoy playing the most, you have more fun with and you're very comfortable with. You take that deck, you build it the right way that it could do well in the format and you take that deck with you and you go there and you have fun so it's up to you to choose which deck you want to my advice for you is to take the deck that you enjoy the most and make it as good as you can for the right format second thing is yourself you need to prepare yourself for the big tournament so beforehand you take let's say if you take a flight and you have a hotel you get all of those and you do that before time not the last minute because that would give you a lot of stress and you will have to uh, do all of those things last minute so don't do so do the all of those beforehand so when you go to the big day you have no stress you can be relaxed and you could go there and just play and have fun second thing is uh, get everything that you need like let's say you need a uh, new sleeves for your deck get those get some spares and play those beforehand play your sleeves so they do they are not slippery so don't change that the night itself or when you go there to, in the tournament don't do that change those beforehand and play some matches or shuffle your deck multiple times so the deck is less slippery take some extra sleeves with you get your play mat get your dices get your binder in shape get everything that you need in shape and put those in one bag and also take food with you uh, take some drinks if you're able to use those in those tournaments because in some places you can't use your own food and drinks but definitely get drinks and some food with you um, don't get any smelly food just something that is easy to eat and of course for yourself keep yourself clean if it is two day event get more clothes with you so you could change because you can't use the same clothes the two days because you'll be sitting there like for eight or, or nine hours you can't use the same clothes so get a spares with you get extra clothes with you you can use the second day shower uh you use deodorant uh, use some stuff to keep yourself yourself clean uh, because you will be there in one room with a lot of people so keep yourself clean it's way easier for you or for, and for the people around you um when you do all of those, those are things that you can do beforehand. Uh, also, for your deck, you also need a deck list. Write your deck list, print your deck list beforehand. Uh, so you have, you have everything that you need before you go to the big tournament. And if, let's say, you have a deck that you're not sure of or there are some cards that you would like to change, then write the deck list down without those cards. And you can also always last minute change some cards and put those on the deck list but write already the cards that you think that you need so after you do all of those there are, there's something that is also important and uh, that's checking the meta so to prepare to the big tournament you always have to check the meta um, you could always go to our youtube uh, channel and we have our tier list right there and we change the tier list uh, each time something come out so we have the tier list right here is from October uh, 2017 this is before the link joker format as you can see tier 0 we have battle sisters and zodiac time beast uh, for tier 1 we have blade wing blade master nitros blasters any kind of other gear decks and we have the ward 
and for tier two, which we have the tier difference, uh, which ex we explain all of those in the video. We have some Oracle Tank Tank Genesis, Anubutamas, of course, some Bermuda Triangles, uh, Vanguisher, some Rising Nova, Hellheart 8 decks, Turbos, and we have some Link Joker decks because this is before the Link Joker format. And of course, we have Tachikaze and any other de decks like Big Belly, Asha, Victor, all of those will go into tier 3. So, uh, you check those kind of videos so you know which decks are played and then you check your own matchups. So let's say you have a bad matchup against Luard, then you have to check your deck and see like which cards I could use to make the matchup better against Luard. Um, so you know how to play against Blade Master, you know how to play against Blade Wings, and if you have problem with that, you could always go to our um, How to Crush videos, and you could also go to uh, the Solomon videos. Uh, we have Solomon Fengard, one of our favorite YouTubers. He also has his own How to Beat uh, videos, so you could always go to that and watch those videos as well. This is his own channel. And he has a lot of videos on how to beat Battle Sisters, Luard, Dominate. So you could learn from that as well. Or you could, of course, watch our own videos, uh, which we tell you as well. And it's also important that you go to the Card Fight Finger on page to see which decks are topping. Uh, but you could also, of course, go to our own Crushing the Meta. Uh, and we have we post all of those posts as well. So you can see the healthy format that we have right now. Um, but we also have a lot of decks that are topping, like uh, especially we have Blade Master. We have seen a lot of Blade Master, Blade Wings, uh, Battle Sisters, and Zodiac Time Beast. Those three decks you have to uh, check all of those. So, for the preparation, I would advise you to go to um, the deck recipes. So, we have deck recipes right here with us, and you click on the last ones. Now, we have from Asia, the last ones are including maybe the Link Joker format, but we have to check the format that you're in. So let's say you live in Europe, then you check the ones from Europe. So we have this one from the UK, and then you check this the, the, the deaths that they have right here. So we can see they have Zodiac Time Beast, which took first place. Um, second place went to another gear deck, but it's more of a demigod deck. And then we have third place, which went to uh, Charlotte, which is very impressive. So when you go to those decks, then you could check the deck list. So let's say you go into their G zone. You check the G zone. You think, okay, they play Pegasus, of course, which is their first try. They play Avenir Phoenix, and they have, uh, let's say, their gear next and next stage as finishers. But as you can see in this deck, they also play Gear Groovy. Um, if they can't stride, they have him as a first stride. So you check all of those, you check, okay, they play new second grade three. What does, what it does, and you can always click on it and read the card. Okay, it gives them a counter charge, but also get some power. So you check all of those, so you know the deck list yourself. And um, so you can see, like, they play the draw power engine, they have... They play the Tank Haven in us. All right, it's impressive. They play Tank Haven in us. Okay, they play the new Great or they have the old Great One still in here. Why? Because maybe it has resist. Uh, because it has good. Um, uh, it's it's good against Blade Master. So and you they play their Arcas, so they could get their Perfect Guards back to their hands. They play a lot of crits, but they still play draws. Okay, they play, they also play four stands. So you keep everything um, in check. So you keep everything. Uh, in your head so you know their deck list so you don't get surprised uh, that's why you, you do this uh, then you check the second place and you think okay they play this deck um, is it more of a chrono jet deck or they play more of the colossus you can see they play colossus but they can go also to chrono jet or gear tiger uh, so this is a very in interesting build of course you won't see this a lot but uh, you can check all of those so you don't get surprised. Uh, of course, Charlotte, you can check that as well. If you haven't played against it, always keep Guild Array in your head. Uh, they also have the Brother Master Restanding. This card has a very good uh, Rare Guard ability as well. So keep that in mind. They turbo a lot through their deck, as you can see in the Great 2 lineup. Uh, the Great 1 lineup, of course. Always keep 
in your head that Jaeger could draw them card for every counter blast they have. They play one starter, which is good for the Gilded Atron. They have the counter charges and they play a lot of stands, seven stands, and they only play five uh, crits, no draws. So keep that in mind. Uh, we also have the one from, uh, let's say this is the one from New Zealand. So this is also in the new format. So we have Gear Next, uh, we have Avenue Phoenix and Pegasus, of course. It's mostly the same uh, deck builds. As you can see, they also play Pulsar, which is a very interesting card. If they have their grade three, they could put one of your cards back to your deck. So read all of the cards and keep everything you had like Keep in mind how much uh, triggers, what G Guardians they have, uh, what finishers they have to finish you off. Now, as you can see, another two Zodiac Time Beast and one Battle Sister deck. Uh, when playing against Battle Sisters, keep in mind they have a very good first stride, but they also have a very good second, uh, third stride. So you could always keep everything in your mind and look at your own matchups. So let's say in the current meta, uh, we have. Um, from the top, we have Zodiac Time Beast, Sisters, Wings, and those three decks you will see those a lot. So, Zodiac Time Beast, Battle Sister, and Wings, you'll see a lot of those. Uh, so, keep in mind your own matchups against those kind of decks. What can you do to win against them uh, so you don't get surprised? You already have like a plan in your, host, uh, in your head <laughs> how to win against them. And then after that, you also check the other. Uh, decks that are, could be there, like Blade Master, Blasters, Luard, Nitros, any kind of Oracle Think Tank. Uh, you also have uh, Dominate, you have Wise Man, or, or any other kind of Genesis. Now Vanquisher, Bermuda Triangle, Link Joker, Tachikazi, Hard 8, Big Belly, Victor, every deck, every deck that you know of, you could just write them down and keep in mind which are the bad matchups for you and what you can do against them. Like you see, we have Zodiac Timies. Okay, Zodiac Timies is a very hard matchup. So how to win against that? You go to the deck list, like we have right here. We have a deck list of Zodiac Timies. This is, uh, let's take the first place. This is a normal Zodiac Timies deck. Or let's take this one. This is more normal. Uh, so we have this Zodiac Timies deck. As you can see, what they have as finishers, they have Gear Next, and they have Ever Near Phoenix. Sometimes they have Next Stage. So when you go into those, when you go to the deck list, as you can see right here, they also could play next stage. You see, okay, what can I do against gear next? Now, when you read the cards, you think, okay, the first attack of gear next is only 26, maybe 31. But the second attack also gets an extra 10k. So if you have a G guard and a perfect guard, maybe you use first your G guard, then your perfect guard. Keep that in mind. It also restands, so if you take one of the attacks, take the first, not the second, because the second has more uh, opportunities to get a critical trigger. So take the first and guard the second. So those are those are kind of things that you could do when you go to the deck list and you read the cards. Um, they always play their hate round, so keep that in mind as well. They play a sea breeze. Um, and of course, their Pegasus play that they do with a Chrono Drone, uh, and they get the Chrono Jet G, and they make a Chrono Jet G two great twos. So there are a lot of videos on how to beat. You could always go to our own uh, YouTube channel and see how to crush videos, and we explain all of those things in how to crush. But you yourself could read them as well. Like when you go into the great two lineup, as you can see, the cards that they play three of. So. Like, like you have the Unicorn, the Tiger, their Jet uh, Grade 2 deck, um, version of it, Grade 2. And of course they have the Pulsar. Now all of those cards, you can read them and you can make your own strategy how to play against them. Um, and like in this deck, every counter blast means they draw an extra card or they have an extra attack. And even if you destroy their whole field, they could get Avenue Phoenix. But it's, more, it's just important to read the cards yourself. Like we have this stand trigger. This is one of the cards that is played wrong. Because this card only works when it's, it's placed from hand. So a lot of people are playing this card wrong. Because they placed on the field with 
uh, Unicorn or with Avenue Phoenix and they would try to use its skill. It doesn't work like that. It has to be played from hand, so keep that in mind. Some people are playing the Arcos wrong, so keep that in mind. Read the cards beforehand, so when you go to the big tournament and they make the play, you think, okay, that's wrong. When I read the cards, it tells me different things. So when you have that doubt in your mind, you can read it yourself and you, you tell them, well, you're playing the card wrong. So don't make a big deal out of it, but just be prepared to, uh, when your opponent makes misplays or mistakes, help them out. Tell them, well, you're playing the card wrong. It doesn't work like that. And if they be jerks about it, you could always call a judge and let them help you out. So keep that in mind. Um, and th those those are kind of things that you could do to see the format and to read all of the cards and to be able to not get surprised when you go to big tournaments. So sh especially the last ones, uh, if you have the right format, you can check them and you can make a list yourself of decks that you have problems against and how to play against those and decks that you don't have any problem with. Just click on them and just like... Uh, see the decks like we have right here we have an alt mile deck well it won it took first place so okay that's interesting uh, or this one is blasters so check the cards yourself they still play spirit all right why because it's a 10k so it's a good vanguard and it could also retire when get called they still play the new so they have a very good early game so you check all of those they still have the perfect guard which cost them a soul blast uh, they don't have to discard, they play resist units, so if you play uh, Blade Master, you have to keep that in mind. They always play um, the resist units. Uh, they also play Flogal, of course, so every counter blast is one more attack from Blaster Blade. Keep that in mind as well. Play against, uh, when you go and play against your, um, against Blade Master, keep in mind that they also play the, the Root Flare right now. So if you have resist units, don't place all of those in one column because they could get rid of those. Um, Denial Griffin, of course. There are a lot of things. You have to check them yourself and to make your own um, build that works against those kind of decks. Like if you play Aqua Force, you have to keep in mind that they also play Belog, they play um, the other G Guardian, the new one. They also play Abu Salam, which is a very strong G Guardian, get a lot of power. So if you play uh, something like, or you want to finish your opponent off with a Guild Array, then fill up your field, then they don't have G Guardians that are strong if you have a lot of Ray Guards on the field. So just keep everything in mind and prepare this beforehand. So when you go to the big tournament, you, go, you don't get surprised. Uh, you can do so by going to the deck recipes and by checking our videos on how to crush and on the tier lists. You have a lot of different tier lists, check all of those and make your own list. So that's all. Th those are all the tips that I could give you. Um, we do all of those beforehand and we try to play against our friends that um, plays those decks. So we tell them, would you like to uh, have a match so we can prepare for the big tournament? You go there and you play against them and you have fun. But at the same time, you change your deck list and uh, you prepare for the big tournament. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. This was how to prepare the big tournament. If you have problem with playing against some decks, tell us in the comment section below. And we will definitely put that in our how to crush videos. And if you want us to tell you even more tips on how to prepare the tournaments or how to get your flight ready or how to get your hotels or anything that you need help with, we would always help you with that as well. So go to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our channel and definitely go to our Facebook group and we will help you out with that as well. We have a lot of friends on our Facebook group that ask us a lot of different things and we definitely, definitely would like to talk to them and maybe sometimes even Skype or have some matches against them to explain some of the cards. And our group is getting even bigger and bigger and we're very, very, very happy with that. Um, so it's all thanks to you guys and it's all thanks to our subscribers. Thanks a lot for all the help and the support and the love that you guys give us. And we will definitely try to make you more videos. Videos that you have fun watching and videos that helps you with everything. Thanks a lot guys. Until next time.